In a couple hours, the second Formula One race is going to take place. And I woke up this morning and watched qualifying. It was super rainy, very messy, super wet. In the top 10 in qualifying, after, after qualifying and after penalties were assessed, this is the grid for tomorrow, the top 10. You have number one, Lewis Hamilton. Number two, Max Verstappen. He was actually a second behind Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton had a great time. Carlos Sainz is going to be third. Valtteri Bottas is fourth. Uh, Esteban Ocon is fifth. Alexander Albon, sixth. Alex Albon. Uh, Pierre Gasly is seventh in the grid. Daniel Ricciardo is eighth. Lando Norris is nine for McLaren. And Sebastian Vettel with Ferrari will be tenth. Now, there are a couple other notables that are happening in the grid tomorrow, or I guess, you know, earlier, later today. Uh, four, 14, yeah, Charles Leclerc, 14th for Ferrari. That's unbelievable. Lance Stroll is 12th, and Sergio Perez is 17th. I got a couple things to unpack. Three big things. Number one, McLaren has really impressed me through qualifying of race two and race one. McLaren, you know, Carlos Sainz is in P3. Lando Norris was great. He had a grid penalty that pushed him back. McLaren's car is quite good, and it's really cool the way they are improving and getting better as a team. And as we move ahead, you know, next in the next year, we're going to have a salary, you know, a budget cap come into place. McLaren is really in a good spot to challenge the teams at the top. I like what they're doing. Now, I know it was raining and messy, and I know that some results are skewed. Guys had a hard time in the rain, but you got to acknowledge, man, after watching qualifying for race two, Ferrari is way behind where they were last year, and they've taken a step back. You have Sebastian Vettel in P10. Uh, Charles Leclerc, their star, is starting in 14th place. What the heck, man? And I get it. There was rain. But Mercedes and Red Bull, the other teams that are supposedly at the top, made it work. They were okay. Mercedes is one. Max Verstappen is two. Ferrari does not appear to be a top team anymore. And it's just hampering them, man. I'm I'm so... I I keep hearing about the past with Ferrari. Yeah, the past of Ferrari is incredible. It's It blows my mind how many good races have raced for Ferrari. But right now, it doesn't look good for them at all. And their car is having problems. And Sebastian Vettel is leaving. And I don't feel confident. We were watching Carlos Sainz leaving McLaren to go to Ferrari. Is it possible Carlos Sainz is actually taking a step down? We'll find out today in the race. But I just, ah, it's not great. And then please, for the love of God, stop telling me how great Racing Point is. I get it. They copied the Mercedes car. But Sergio Perez couldn't get out of Q3 of qualifying. And neither Racing Point ra- racer finished in the top 10 of qualifying. People love Sergio Perez. Uh, well, his former teammate, in my opinion, Esteban Ocon, is actually better. I think people are really caught up with what Sergio Perez has done in the past. I get it. He's done well. But all I hear now about Sergio Perez is a lot of excuses and a lot of talk about what happened in the past. I think Racing Point made a mistake when they let a more talented driver Esteban Ocon go, they dropped Ocon and, you know, moved on with Sergio Perez because Sergio Perez had a sponsor and had a stable history. People keep sending me messages. They're like, you're an idiot. You know nothing about Sergio Perez. And Sergio Perez, you know, Checo is great and he's the most underrated driver. Well, all I've heard this offseason is how great the Mercedes car is for Racing Point. Sergio Perez isn't delivering. And (laughs) 17th? He couldn't handle the rain at all. And I just am so tired until Racing Point can make it work and earn my respect. I'm just not going to give it to them. All I hear about Racing Point is they're so great. They're so great. This and that. Okay. But I'm waiting and waiting to see it. And so far, I haven't seen the midfield best of the rest thing I'm hearing about Racing Point. People keep saying Racing Point might be the fourth best team in Formula One. Ah, I don't, I don't think so at all. Seems like they're bottom to midfield. We'll find out. But... I'm just not as high on racing point as everybody else is. I know I'm new to the sport. I know people are like, you're ignorant. You don't know what you're talking about. I can't let that worry me. I, I just What I'm seeing from Sergio Perez is a lot of talk about the past and not a lot of results now. And Lance Stroll did not race well in the rain yesterday in qualifying. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm really over racing point and hearing about how great they are all the time when they're delivering at an inconsistent level. Really, not even inconsistent. They're consistently bad. They're consistently not at the top of Formula One. What else do you need?